Well, dozens of drugs are available for people battling epilepsy. The neurological disorder causes seizures. But medication isn't effective for about 30% of patients. Morning Insider Lauren Victory shows us a solution that's changed the game for an Oak Park family. Healed my heart and hit so dizzy. Carissa Reyna describes the seizures she used to experience until she had surgery. From three or four epileptic episodes a month, now... You don't have more seizures. Well, I hope so. Neurologists at the University of Chicago Medicine hope so too. There's another electrode that goes deep. They embedded this device in Carissa's brain in 2017. This is the computer. Dr. Naumisa explains the whole system detects the onset of epileptic activity. We know that if you can stimulate the brain at the right place at the right time, you can stop the seizure in its tracks. Can you give me a high five with that hand? Good. And Successfully halting a seizure is only right. one goal. Dr. Isa needs to continuously monitor to... Carissa's brain activity. You just put that wand over the device. Carissa usually Good. does this at and home. The machine uploads information to a server for her neurologists to analyze. Why is it so important that you're recording any sort of seizure activity that happens? So sometimes you can't tell when seizures are happening just by looking at a person. See this green? Those are Carissa's seizures. The long gaps between are when she's been seizure free. Doctors constantly compare the gaps as they slowly lower the dosage of Carissa's epilepsy medications. They were turning her into a zombie, says mom Norma. You know, sleeping a lot and um, always, always complaining of stomach. CBS News first told you about these magic medical devices in this 2018 story. What's changed since then? Battery life has really improved, and so has patient eligibility. We're now learning that we can put the device in different parts of the brain and control different kinds of seizures. Meaning even more families battling epilepsy. We're not worried. We're not worried anymore. Can feel that relief. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Well, Lauren mentioned those batteries. Carissa's 27 implant needed to be replaced last year, and that required another surgery. But the new devices should last more than a decade. For more stories like this one, download our CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insiders.